I was reading some comments this morning, and James C. asked, Next video, can you please show messages of ex-Muslims? Obviously no need to show their names for privacy. It's your lucky day, James, because right before I read your comment, a Western Christian was busy telling me that I don't know how to talk to Muslims and that I need to change my approach. And right after I read your comment, I saw a message from a 60-year-old Pakistani man who recently left Islam. And I thought, these leaving Islam messages would make a good video series. We'll read 10 of them here in Volume 1, and you'll see in various installments that the comments fall into a few different categories. There are people who leave Islam and become Protestants or Catholics. There are those who leave Islam and become atheists or agnostics. And there are some who leave Islam and are interested in Christianity, but would like more information before making a decision. We can also distinguish between those who were raised as Muslims and those who were converts to Islam. Since I already mentioned the Pakistani gentleman, we might as well start with him. Name omitted because the penalty for leaving Islam is death, writes, Hi, it is about a year or so that I have started watching your videos. As I continued to watch your videos, my faith in Islam started to shake. Ultimately now, I have totally lost my faith in Islam. I'm 60 years of age. I'm a Muslim from Pakistan. I had spent 57 years of my life in Pakistan. Right from childhood, I was told and told and told that Islam is the only true religion and Muhammad is the last prophet of God and that he was the best of all creation of God. Now I realize that we were so highly indoctrinated that we never even thought of questioning our faith. Right from childhood, our brains were shaped in such a manner that we cannot even imagine to think of questioning Islam or Muhammad. We were told and retold millions of times only those stories about Muhammad and Islam which glorifies both. But after watching your videos, I have realized that we were subjected to heavily filtered information about Islam and Muhammad. We were shown only one side of the picture. Dear, my native language is Urdu. It is my wish that I translate your videos in Urdu and put them on YouTube and Facebook with Urdu subtitles. I hope that you will allow me to do so. Best regards, name omitted because the penalty for leaving Islam is death. Next, name omitted because the penalty for leaving Islam is death, writes, David Wood, I am a former Muslim. After watching your videos, especially the video, What is Islam? I became non-Muslim. When I got to know that Islam was influenced by pre-Islamic paganism, I left Islam the very moment. But do you, Nabil or Sam Shamoon, have Skype, email, or anything else so that you can prove that Christianity is true? Because whenever I watch your programs on Jesus or Muhammad, I can feel some kind of a lust for God, but there is absolutely no evidence that Christianity is more true than Hinduism or anything else. So if you could answer some of my questions, it would be perfect. God bless, if he exists, I've prayed to him though, abnsat.com, Act 17 Apologetics, and everyone serving the supposedly existing Lord Jesus Christ, Yahweh in the flesh. Name omitted because the penalty for leaving Islam is death, writes, Thanks, David. The show Jesus or Muhammad was one of the reasons that my eyes were opened to the terror and hate of Islam. I can now proudly say that I am not a Muslim anymore, but a follower of Jesus Christ. Thank you for educating me. Name omitted because the penalty for leaving Islam is death, writes, Hi, Brother David. Thanks for all your efforts exposing Islam, which helped me, an Iranian, to leave this satanic cult. Many thanks. Name omitted because the penalty for leaving Islam is death, writes, David, you and Nabil and Sam are what started to make me question Islam, and now I'm a Christian. Name omitted because the penalty for leaving Islam is death, writes, I've been a Muslim my entire life, but I started to read the Quran and the authentic hadiths proactively for two to three years now, and I've looked at it from several angles, but I can't refute what you claim in your videos with a rational approach. So I left Islam, and I'm an agnostic now. It's hard for me to keep believing Muhammad was a messenger of God. Name omitted because the penalty for leaving Islam is death, writes, Hello, David. I'm a big fan of your videos. You've single-handedly converted me from Islam to Christianity again. Thank you, brother. Keep spreading the truth, sir. Name omitted because the penalty for leaving Islam is death, writes, I converted to Christ after listening to the eye-opening debates of David Wood. I love this guy. 
Name omitted because the penalty for leaving Islam is death, writes, Keep up the great work, David. You led me to the Lord through your own knowledge of Islam. I can't thank you enough. Praise the Lord for you. Name omitted because the penalty for leaving Islam is death, writes, When I came to Sweden 23 years ago, I was a Muslim from Somalia. And now, praise the Lord, I am a Christian leading Somalis to Christ. David Wood, your teaching helped my husband to leave Islam and come to Christ. May God bless you and your beautiful family in Jesus' name. So, those are some examples of Muslims leaving Islam. For you Christians out there who've been taught that you shouldn't tell Muslims about Muhammad or the Quran because this will keep them from listening to you, notice how important it was for many of these converts to hear facts about Muhammad and the Quran. Why was it important? Because the information their leaders gave them about Muhammad and the Quran was filtered and sanitized for them, so they never had any reason to question Islam. Once they realized that they couldn't fully trust what they'd been taught by their leaders, they were then in a much better position to consider alternatives to Islam. So, when someone lays down rules about witnessing to Muslims, Always ask yourself, are these rules based on what actually works, or are they based on Christians projecting their own views and ideals onto the Muslim community, a community that sometimes has very different views and ideals? More to come.